An ecosystem is a collection of living and non-living things that live together in an area. There are many marine ecosystems in the ocean, from shallow coastal waters to open ocean to the deep. All marine ecosystems are important, but estuaries and coral reefs are where many marine species birth and raise their young so they can hide in corals, grasses, nooks and crannies, safe from larger predators while they grow. This is the Ocean Lab at the museum, where you can dive into the world of plankton. Did you know that some of the smallest ocean inhabitants are the most important? These are plankton, tiny animals and plants. Phytoplankton receive light from the sun, which they then convert by photosynthesis into organic compounds. Since they get their energy straight from the sun, they are called primary producers. Energy flows through an ecosystem in one direction. This is called a food chain. But the ocean is made up of many linked food chains that form a web. Do they travel? Many marine species move through the ocean, riding on currents. Now that the ocean is warming, some of these currents are shifting and moving further south, taking marine species with them. There are fish in Tasmania now that usually live in Sydney. But there are some places in the ocean called dead zones areas in oceans and lakes with little to no oxygen. Without oxygen, many species cannot survive. They die, or if they can adapt their behaviour to move to another part of the ocean. There are at least 415 known dead zones in the ocean. To balance dead zones and keep species healthy, more and more countries have marine reserves, sanctuaries or parks where species are protected, managed and conserved. Australia has 60 marine parks, 58 in Commonwealth waters, as well as the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park and McDonald Island Reserve down south. About 67% of the world's ocean is now protected, but there is a big push to get to 30% of the ocean protected by 2030. In addition to marine protected areas, scientists are working to restore environments that marine plants and animals need to survive. They are planting new seagrasses, helping corals to spawn and tracking marine animals to see how many there are and where they are going. The Citizen Science Project RedMap is a downloadable app that lets you record sightings of marine species that are unusual for your area. At www.redmap.org.au 